What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with immersive engineering. Now today guys, we are going to be doing a massive overhaul of our very outdated and pretty simple item sorting system. It used to be located in this corner, but now it is located in my inventory because I disassembled this thing off camera, mainly because I could do it really quickly. It pretty much consisted of one item router and maybe like 10 conveyor belts. It only had two different outputs that it would sort to. One would be building blocks that would go here like stone and glass and the other one would just be any ingots that we would get after using the crusher. So this whole system was really outdated and I say that because we made it in like episode seven or eight and the only thing it was meant to actually sort would be stuff that was coming from the crusher to the furnaces and then those furnaces going to these chests. So now we've done a lot of work on our base and we're now having outputs from uh, both the steel factory down here, which consists of a ton of bottles of creosote, which of course I wanna save for treated wood and obviously the steel. And then along with that, if we do decide to ever use the slag for, or the arc furnace, we're gonna be getting a ton of slag from it. And obviously then we're going to be getting either the same output as the steel factory, because we could have steel, uh, or we could be getting the same output as the crusher right up here, because we're going to be getting uh, you know, iron or copper or whatever ingot we put in there. So we have a ton more items that need to be sorted. We have a bunch of different types of items now that need to be added in. And the system over here could barely sort through it as is, considering uh, the item router is not the best way to sort things, since it can only, per side, it can only sort eight different items. So it's a little weak in terms of that. So we are going to be doing a, an overhaul, like I said. So we're gonna be taking these chests and we're actually gonna be moving them up here. And this is going to become our, pretty much like our storage room, because we need a bunch more chests uh, just in general. And we're gonna be pretty much sorting the items the same way. We're gonna be using a bunch of different item routers to input things into chests. And we're gonna have dropping conveyor belts, just dropping things into the item routers. But the main thing that we're gonna be doing today that's gonna to be pretty interesting in my opinion, uh, is we are going to be making a vertical item elevator that is going to be a three by one vertical item elevator running from the basement to this floor and then running all the way upstairs to actually get all of the items from every different floor and whatever we might create in the future up to where we're actually going to be storing them. Now, I took on this task to create one that used conveyor belts because we're playing with surviving with immersive, or we're playing surviving with immersive engineering, guys. We're not playing surviving with vanilla item elevators, okay? There's a bunch of different videos that you can go and watch that aren't this one that will probably have a more compact, more efficient, you know, simple item elevator that uses just vanilla blocks. I know Mumbo Jumbo has a great video for it. But that is not what we are doing. We are going to be immersive engineering hipsters, and we are going to be using, in today's build, hoppers, which of course are vanilla, but we're also gonna be using mainly conveyor belts. Now, uh, now that I've told you guys that, I'm going to show you the two different things that I pretty much found out from testing, because uh, I was laying in bed, and I was thinking like, what can I record? And I was like, you know what, we need to do an overhaul on the item sorting system. I've been meaning to do it for a while, so I'm gonna record it. But then I was thinking, how do I wanna set it up? And I had a couple ideas that I wanted to test out. And so of course I went into creative and I tested them and I came to two different setups. And of course, when you have two different setups, you're going to have typically a cheaper one and then a more expensive one. And typically, again, the more expensive one is going to have some pros that the other one doesn't have. Um, or they'll, bo they'll both have pros, but um, typically, you know, the more expensive one will be more compact, more efficient, look better, stuff like that. Uh, in this case, it's going to be more expensive, obviously, to make it, but it's going to be uh, taking up one less block of space, and it's going to look cooler. Um, so the cost-effective one is going to be a two-by-two, two, and I'm going to show you guys what it's like. It's essentially like a spiral staircase of conveyor belts. So uh, you would typically, to do this, just throw down a couple blocks, and I'll do a pretty small example right here just to give you guys a sense of what it's like. So you would throw them down like this, and of course, you know, if you were to throw one on here, it would just get pushed into the wall. So you need to take your engineer's hammer and bring them all up so that you're actually elevating it. And you might be thinking to yourself, this should not work. Well, it does. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, it just pushes it onto the next block and then this picks it up and pushes it up. So even though you're not connecting them perfectly, like down here, these are perfectly connected. Uh, this is pretty much seamless. Even though this looks a little weird, it will work. So if you were to throw something on there, you can see it gets carried all the way up. And if you were to have a chest up here or more conveyor belts, it would continue carrying it all the way around and you wouldn't have to worry uh, about it getting dropped off or anything. So this one is the way to do it with only conveyor belts. And uh, like I said, it does take up one more block. Obviously this is a two by two. So the area that it takes up is four blocks total. Whereas the three by one, which is what we're gonna use, takes up only three blocks. So 
like I said, more cost effective, but takes up more space and in my opinion doesn't look as cool. So now we get to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys an example of what we're going to build today before I actually jump in and start building it just so that you have a nice area to view it up here and it's not kind of crammed into this three by one hole down here. So we're going to be using hoppers and this one is going to start out with just conveyor belts like this. And it's kind of annoying to build or do an example of right here just because of how you need to construct it. So you're going to have a conveyor belt bringing it up and then you are going to put down another one and you can see they kind of overlap right here. You get some uh, kind of texture issues, uh, but you can rotate this one and then you can bring it up again. So you might be thinking now, oh, so you can just, you know, go down here and you know, the item will get carried up. Well, that's actually not the case. So the items can actually look like they're getting carried up. Uh, let me see if I can give you guys an example. So, uh, hmm. I really want to show this. Okay, so look right there. It looks like it's actually getting carried up. It is not. It is glitching out. If we were to come over here, we would see that you can't actually pick it up. It's just one of those blocks that's it's like a ghost block. It's actually right over here. So it gets stuck and actually isn't getting put to this conveyor belt because it's not getting put to this block right here. But of course, uh, if we were to break this block and try throwing it down there, you can see that it doesn't even work. So it stays there too. So there's really no way to get around this. So uh, what we have to do is use a hopper. Now, if we throw a hopper here, it should start working. So let's throw one down. Oh my gosh, this doesn't want to pick it up. Okay, so we throw one down and you can see that it actually gets kicked off. It's actually right over here. And the reason is because this one is able to input it into the hopper, which then immediately outputs it onto this one right here. So the way we would do this is by doing this once again. So it's like I said, it's a little annoying to construct because you kind of have to use uh, blocks just placing them like that. But now we get to rotate this one and we can bring it up again. Then we take another hopper, put it down right here, and it should be able to carry it all the way up if we were to put one of these and you got to adjust it a little bit. It gets a little weird. So we were to throw one on this right here. It should get carried all the way up very quickly. And it's a little glitchy because when it gets kicked off that, it's falling back in here. But if we were to continue the conveyor belts up there, it actually would get carried up. It's very fast and it would look really cool if it wasn't kind of glitching and looping around. So that is going to be the setup for today. And obviously that's going to take up three blocks across and it's only one block on the other dimension. So that is what we're going to be doing here and we will carry it all the way up. So I don't actually know how many hoppers it's going to take. Shouldn't take too many though. So let us go down here. We're also going to have to do some rewiring like in this room right here. This is going to be rewired instead of going to this output chest. Uh, it's going to be going right over there. And it's also going to be really easy to attach anything you need to this one. And I'll show you guys why when we actually attach this, but it's really simple to input things to this. So we're going to start out and instead of just having it like uh, facing a different direction or something, we're going to put it like this in case we ever need to, you know, extend it further down. And I think the easiest way is to probably do this, probably put these blocks down right here just so that we have some blocks that we can work with and just throw these down and just start rotating them because, oh my gosh, didn't mean to click on that one. It gets a little annoying when you're trying to click on these and get them the right direction. So we'll get it like that and then we'll do the rest from, you know, upstairs and we get to throw the hoppers down the same way down here. And I guess we can start by throwing this one down on that one, this one down on that one. And so you can see why it starts to get expensive. You're going to be putting hoppers down. Every level you want to elevate is going to take one hopper and one conveyor belt. Now, although it does look cool, uh, it is a little expensive, but you know, we're not going to worry about money because we're rich guys. Okay guys. So I decided it would probably be a good idea to extend the rest of this off camera because it would probably be a little bit tedious for you guys to watch me doing the same thing, but it is now carrying everything upstairs and you can see that it gets up there and then it just goes into an infinite loop. So anything that goes through this is just going to start looping until we actually finish the sorting system itself. But that is perfectly fine with me because now we have everything getting up there. We know that it works. The furnaces are hooked up, so everything should be good to go. And now we can just run up here and actually start sorting things. So we do need to extend it a little bit up here, like probably one more level. Um, but the main reason that I wanted to do this on camera was just to point out that I did notice there is an easier way to extend this than what I was doing. So if we get the hoppers back out here, I realized that I don't need to actually place blocks down to the left and right of the conveyor belts. I can just use these back blocks right here that are pretty much from the wall. And all I have to do is just throw down the conveyor belt and elevate it 
rotate it, and then just take the hopper and put it down. And you can see that that'll finish it off. And I don't know, I'm gonna set up the chest and then I'm gonna decide if I need to go up one more level or not. So my plan for the chest is just gonna be to use an item router to sort to two different chests. And we're gonna be using a dropping conveyor belt into the item routers. Now I'm going to put the chests like one away from this. Uh, I think that should be good enough just because I don't want to be getting too close and picking this up and if I do decide that I want to kind of wall it off with glass uh, this will probably be far enough away I think. So we're going to be putting down two chests like this and then we're going to be putting down an item router in the center. And essentially what we're going to do is look at this and green is going to be west meaning this side is going to be east. So whatever we want to go in this chest of course we're going to set to west and this one's going to be east and then we're going to put a dropping conveyor belt right on top of it and we're going to make it so that it is rotating directly over it. Now the reason that this is going to work is because the dropping conveyor belt will only let things drop through if they can go into what's below it. If there's an inventory below it, uh, they need to be able to go into the inventory. If you were just to put a dropping conveyor belt without anything below it, it would literally just drop the items straight down. Now with the item router below it, if we were to do this, we could throw any item in here and it should just go randomly into one of these two chests. And you can see it gets evenly divided because we're not sorting anything. But if we were to, let's say, put stone bricks in both of these, so the only thing that should be able to drop in there is stone bricks, and we were to throw that in, it would not fall through, it would get kicked off. So what we're gonna be doing is essentially making it so that things will pass over, and anything that's getting sorted will be able to drop through, and anything else will keep going. And what we're gonna do at the very end is create a miscellaneous chest for just any blocks that aren't currently being sorted, and what I can do with that is either go back and sort them, or if I really don't feel like there's a need to sort them, we can just leave them in that miscellaneous chest. So of course, we're not gonna have stone bricks going in both of these, and uh, we need to actually bring the items over here. So I think we should be good just doing this, and we can just rotate these. Oh, I don't know why I did that. We just need to rotate them like that, and it should carry them over, and these should drop straight down into there because we're not sorting them, and they both go into that one. Now, I am hoping that I can contact the creators of the mod, either you know by Twitter or Skype or something like that, because I really, really, really want to see if there's any way that I can talk to them about this whole thing where inserting using immersive engineering things into chests determines where it gets put in the chest, because this means that I have to manually come up here and make it so that if we you know insert into this chest and it goes to this block right here, I essentially cannot use any of these top things automatically. If this fills up the bottom portion, it will no longer put into that chest. So that's a little bit annoying. Hopefully I can contact them about it, but uh, for now, you know, we'll have to live with it. So I do need to make a couple more of these dropping conveyor belts, but that should be no issue. We've got some leftover hoppers. And actually, you know what? I think we can make it in our inventory right now. Can we do it? Yeah, like that, okay. So we're just gonna keep extending this and we need to keep one separation between these two. And it looks like the room is, hmm. I may just extend it like this all the way over and that's where the wall will go, mainly just because I wanna make sure that it is perfect for these chests. So what we could do would be something like this right here and you know, item router here, item router here. Now, I was seeing if there were any better ways that I could use the item routers for more than just two chests, but it doesn't really seem to be any way that looks good. So eventually I may you know, make a second layer higher up, but I don't imagine that if we, you know, line this whole room with these chests that we're going to actually run out of space. I think we should be okay, but for now we can just, you know what, I should probably place these down at the correct angle at least, um, but we should just be able to, gosh darn it, okay, let's, let's see if we can do this right. Okay, there we go, and dropping conveyor belt right there, regular conveyor belt, we're going to have to rotate this one, uh, and we'll just do it through this right here. We'll set up the sorting for one of them, and then we will call it a day. This one needs to be a dropping conveyor belt. Okay, so rotate that, all of these. That should be good. So I think this is actually gonna look really cool, and you can see the bottles of creosote should be dropping in here. So what we need to do now is actually set this up so that the items are being sorted. Now what I'm thinking is eventually I'm going to, probably down here in the main floor, maybe like right maybe like somewhere like right over here, I'm going to put a chest to actually sort items uh, just from my inventory. 
So I want to come in here and get like all of these blocks. So even if we're not going to be getting them from what we're automatically producing, like we're not going to automatically produce gravel, we're not going to be automatically producing cobblestone or sand or, you know, oak wood or anything like that. But I want to get as many of these as possible. And we actually can only have nine. So I got to be a little bit careful with what I take. But I'm going to get one of each of these blocks that we could have. And I think that should be pretty much it. I need dirt. That's definitely something we want. So we're going to cap out at actually eight. I think I said nine there, but we can only have eight. So we're going to make it so the first one on this side is going to be miscellaneous blocks, which is green, so it's west. So we're going to want sand to be in there, and I'll put them over here once I'm done. So sand, dirt, uh, we're going to want stone, obviously. We're going to want stone bricks. We're going to want gravel, glass, cobblestone. And what is the last one that I would like in there? I guess I could get away. I'm probably going to make my own chest for wood anyway, so it's probably okay to stick with this. And if I'm missing anything, I can go back in there and throw it in later. Uh, so that should be good on that part. And now we're going to be going to the east. So I want that one to actually be sorting. Uh, let's say we want that one to be sorting idiots. So for now, I will dump these all just back in here. Uh, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually move these chests and just throw all the things in here to actually verify that the whole sorting system works off camera later. But now we want to go through and grab one of each ingot. So uh, the main issue that I was having is I don't think we actually want to sort Electrum right now, or I may sort steel separately from Electrum because I believe we have just enough space to sort like gold, lead. I'm going to need to drop some more of this stuff back up here. So we have room. Uh, we got silver, silver, lead, gold. Did we get aluminum yet or aluminium I know people always get a little a little antsy when I pronounce things wrong I always say aluminum but it's aluminium I think is the correct way to pronounce it uh, so I think that should be most of the things unfortunately I, I didn't look at the old item router over there to look at what I was actually sorting but we'll probably end up separating like diamonds nether quartz steel you know all that stuff into a different chest but for now we can just set the ingots up here just to get a general idea of how much space we're gonna have left so those need to go to the east so we'll do the same thing we'll put them over here so gold nickel aluminium silver uh, we'll do electrum copper uh, I'll probably separate steel somewhere else so we'll do lead and weird I don't have any extra iron on me I guess I used up all of my iron so huh interesting but I'll just leave these chests open so that these bottles of creosote can go somewhere. Actually, you know what? We'll do this right now. We'll set this one to be the bottles of creosote one. So we will do creosote in there. And you know what? We'll actually do steel in there too. So do I have any extra steel on me? Or did I leave it in that chest down there? No, I do have steel on me. Okay. So this will be getting the outputs from all those. These should be getting the general outputs. And I'll find some way to label these. I may use, you know, item frames. I may use signs, I don't know yet, but uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool once I put in this wall over here. It should look very nice, and uh, you know, whatever you guys have as feedback for this, feel free to let me know if you like how it looks, if there's anything I could do differently. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, feel free to give it a like as it helps me out a lot, and I will talk to you guys later.